In front of me, I have the NRF 9151 development kit from Nordic Semiconductor, which is a new board in their NRF 91 series. Compared to the NRF 52, 53, 54, and 70 series, NRF 91 products contain an LTE modem for cellular connectivity and a GNSS receiver to receive real-time location data in open environments, all of which is accessible through firmware and the NRF Connect SDK. Now, when unboxing the kit, you see that we are greeted by the board itself and also two different SIM cards. Now, taking a closer look at the development kit, uh, we are greeted by the NRF 9151 system and package, which is a fully contained ARM Cortex M33 processor clocked at 64 megahertz, paired with an LTEM slash NB-IoT modem. It has 256 kilobytes of RAM, one megabyte of flash storage, and supports the 700 to 2200 megahertz LTE band. Now, sitting next to it is an integrated GNSS antenna with a couple micro FL connectors for attaching external antennas. For the I.O., the NRF 9151 development kit has many options when it comes to adding extra capabilities. There are four user programmable buttons below the SIP, while four user programmable LEDs are above the GNSS antenna. There is also a nano SIM card slot here, along with pads for soldering an eSIM. The kit even comes with a preloaded SIM card for quickly getting started. The pin headers on either side of the development kit are Arduino Uno Rev3 compatible, meaning that existing shields can be easily connected. Additionally, the Nordic Semiconductor NRF7002 Evaluation Kit can be added to provide Wi-Fi. And lastly, the front of the board contains the built-in J-Link debugger, USB connector, power switch, and pins for measuring power consumption. Now that we've covered what the NRF9151 Development Kit can do, let's flash a demo application and see it in action. To get started, first head to this link and select your desktop platform to download the setup utility for the NRF Connect and Command Line Utility applications. Make sure to also install the J-Link drivers, so that you can flash and debug firmware from your development machine. Once the application is open, click Install on Quick Start to download it. Optionally, feel free to browse the other tools and install them as needed, such as the board configurator, cellular monitor, and toolchain manager. Open the Quick Start app and connect your NRF 9151 to your development machine. It should be detected quickly and open the first setup page, which presents two options. Since we're using the development kit as a standalone device and not as a coprocessor, we are going with option one. Next, rename the device and set it with a subsequent flash step. Then, after inserting the provided nano SIM card, provision it and ensure there's cellular connectivity. We're now free to flash a sample application. After opening VS Code and installing the NRF Connect extension, open the welcome window and click Browse Samples. In this case, we're going with the GNSS demo, which will allow the board to lock onto GPS satellites and return coordinate strings upon a successful lock. Add a new build configuration on the left while using the default values before clicking Build Configuration. Once it's built, simply click Flash to load the firmware onto your connected NRF 9151. Output can be viewed after selecting the device and opening the first virtual serial port. To learn more about the NRF 9151 and how it can be used in your next project, be sure to visit its page on Nordic Semiconductor's site. And for more information on getting started, there's a very comprehensive guide here for the entire NRF 91 series.